U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin announced the allocation of a $400 million military aid package to Ukraine on Monday during a visit to Kiev. The package will provide your forces with additional munitions, armored vehicles, and anti-tank weapons, Austin said at a meeting alongside Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. The visit comes hours after a Russian drone attack on the Ukrainian capital and as Zelensky pushes Western partners to keep providing military support for the war. Ukraine is having difficulty holding back a ferocious Russian campaign along the Eastern Front that is gradually compelling Kiev's forces to give up a series of towns, villages and hamlets. Zelensky is urging Western allies to support his so-called victory plan to end the almost three-year war, which is Europe's biggest since World War II and has cost tens of thousands of lives on both sides, including many civilians. His strategy includes a formal invitation for Ukraine to join NATO and permission to use Western long-range missiles to strike military targets in Russia, steps that Kiev's allies have previously balked at supporting. The Western response has been lukewarm, and Austin was expected to discuss the plan with Ukrainian officials in Kiev. According to our uh, last dialogue, I think very positive dialogue with the President Biden by phone. We discussed a lot of things and uh, by the way, thanks for the last package supporting our uh, soldiers and uh, and we discussed a lot of important things about victory plan, about preparing for winter, so some details which will be, I think, uh, sorry. Out of We've moved heaven and earth to help Ukraine, and that inspiring coalition of more than 50 allies and partners continues to stand united to provide your country with the ass security assistance that Ukraine needs to prevail. Under President Biden's leadership, the United States remains committed to keeping up this support. And so I'm pleased to announce today the commitment of a $400 million presidential drawdown package to provide your forces with additional munitions armored vehicles, and any tank weapons. Ukrainian political strategist Oleksiy Holobutsky believes that Russia's partners are beginning to put pressure on Putin not to continue the war against Ukraine. Putin feels that the war is starting to bother his partners, and he is not talking about it directly. Of course, he is not the only one to say this. The same partners of the Russian Federation in the BRICS are starting to tell him about it. That is, the Russian-Ukrainian war has already brought everything that could be positive, so to speak, for these countries. We are talking, first of all, about China and India. However, no one is going to lift sanctions against Russia. That's why Russia's partners are hindered by the continuation of this war, Holobutsky said on Espresso TV. The political strategist is convinced that Western countries will continue to put pressure on China and India that support Russia in its war against Ukraine. Of course, the West will continue to demand that China and India take sides in this war, because this war has already become a problem for globalization and international trade, he said. But the United States has imposed sanctions on two China-based drone suppliers and their alleged Russian partners the first time it has penalized Chinese companies for supplying complete weapon systems to Russia for its war in Ukraine. Washington has long accused China of supporting Russia's war effort by supplying dual-use goods and components that could be used in the manufacture of weapons which Beijing denies. But in an announcement Thursday, the US Treasury Department accused the Chinese firms of direct involvement in arms supplies to Moscow. The Chinese companies had collaborated with Russian defense firms in the production of Moscow's Garpia series long-range unmanned aerial vehicles, the department said in a statement. The drones were designed, developed and made in China before being sent to Russia for use in the battlefield, it said. The Garpia has been deployed by Russia in its brutal war against Ukraine, destroying critical infrastructure and causing mass casualties, it said.
while the United States previously imposed sanctions on Chinese entities providing critical inputs to Russia's military industrial base. These are the first U.S. sanctions imposed on Chinese entities directly developing and producing complete weapon systems in participation with Russian firms. The Chinese embassy in Washington denied the latest accusations and said China was handling the export of military products responsibly.